What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at it again, this time with the truck. But before we jump into the truck, we got some new parts. The main one that I'm interested in is this. We found a pretty dang nice rear bumper for the 74 El Camino. And I still have a lot of people telling me that it's not a 74, it's a 73 because it's got a 73 front clip. I'm telling you, it's a 74. I verified the VIN number, I verified the title. It is absolutely a 74 with a 73 front clip, which I think the 73 front clip looks better. Now, I didn't realize this bumper actually had some damage. Isn't that just the way it goes, man? Right here, you see that? It's been dented in right there. It's got a, a decent little crunch right there. Well, how about that? Okay. Well, hey, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> At the end of the day, this bumper looks a ton better than the one that's on the El Camino currently. A handful of you have asked about my bike. There seems to be some speculation that my bike is gone, that I sold it or traded it or gave it away or couldn't afford it and it got repossessed. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> for the few of you, there's not many, but for the handful of you that were interested in the bike and you're wondering if it's still here, she's still here, guys. In fact, I'm sad to say uh, but I got to be honest about it. I haven't ridden this bike in probably close to two weeks now. Really sad because I just spent a thousand dollars on tags. Eleven $1 hundred actually. It was eleven $1 hundred dollars for that license plate uh, for taxes and all of that stuff that I had to pay on the initial purchase price of twenty five thousand dollars. So she's here. Um, how many miles on her? One hundred twenty miles. She's got, she's got 120 miles on her. Yeah, I need to get on it. In fact, today's a beautiful day to get out. I may take it out for a spin a little bit later today, but it's not what we're here for. Let's go back and take a peek at the truck. Oh, we'll take a peek at what's going on out here. My backyard is actually starting to look like a rainforest. It definitely turned green and the landscapers have not shown up to do any of the yard work in, uh, it's been over, oh well, hell, it's been over two weeks now. It's been over two weeks since the landscapers have been here. So uh, <laughs> hope they don't try to charge me extra because they haven't been showing up. Check on the koi real quick. They seem to be doing all right. Yeah, you, know, you guys want fed again? I already fed you. I already fed you. I'm not feeding you again. Look at them. I'll tell you what, they're worse than my dog, man. These guys will eat all day, every day if you let them. They're constantly hungry. Speaking of dogs, hey you. Hey you. Hey. What's up, sugar? You going after the fish? Are you gonna get him? Are you gonna get him? Yeah? All right, you gonna work? She loves to work. She loves to come out here and work with me. She would do very well on a, uh, a ranch or a farm. What's up, Nick? How's this pool doing? Ooh, that wasp just flew right by my ear. Uh, she's getting a little dirty, huh? Just a tad bit. I have to throw the pool cleaner in there, clean it again. How's the water feel? Pretty good. Yeah? Getting some swim time in, huh? Yep. All right. Hey, instead of four hundred dollars, your mom said I only owe you forty. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he just had a birthday. He just had a birthday, so I told him I was going to do him a solid and double uh, whatever money he got. And let me tell you, he got a uh, he got a lot of money from his family for his birthday. Uh, I owe him quite a bit. So here is the subject of today's video: the '99. Dodge Ram 1500. I got a lot to get into in this video, um, but I really do have a question for you guys. I want you to look at the wheels that were originally on it when I bought it, right? These are the wheels that came with it. I don't like them. They stick out too far. They look ridiculous, in my opinion. No, no offense to those of you that love them, but for me, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So here's what I did. I ordered a set of wheels and tires on Tire Rack, the cheapest of the cheap steel wheels, black with a red stripe going around the edge of the wheel. And uh, with tires and all that stuff, it came out to about $1,200. Well, a couple days later, I found these, and these were not easy for me to find locally. In fact, I had to drive about an hour and 45 minutes away to go pick these up. They were bare wheels, no center caps, no tires, but I got these. These are the original equipment wheels for this truck. All right. I got these for 150 bucks. I think it was a steal of a deal. The wheels are in good shape. They need a little cleaning, but they're in good shape. The tires I got on tire rack. I canceled my other order. 
got these tires for about 450 so now we're up to 600 dollars without the center caps i found these center caps on ebay and i got them for 60 bucks and they're in really really good shape these are these are really nice oem original equipment um, they still got the dodge part numbers and everything now my question to you is this and yeah i got these wheels a set of four and these are original these aren't replicas these are the original derby caps for these uh what did they call these wheels these were uh oh hell i can't remember i can't remember what they called these wheels they had they're supposed to have beauty rings i got to find the beauty rings for them but these are for one of the El Caminos, and these are the original rally wheels with the derby caps. Those things, I got them for $350. Two of them came with two white letter tires. Anyway, the question, looking like this or looking like that? And I can help you a little bit more because I've already come over here and changed these out. You tell me that is what this truck came with. All right. So I guess we're taking the Jeep. Boy, this grass is growing, man. I wish these lawn people would get back out here. I guess we're going to take the Jeep. She is filthy because we took her for a little uh, off-road playing the other day. The Cavalier is still sitting here. Nice and, uh, well, I wouldn't call her purdy, but she runs, she drives, cold air conditioning. She's got her new tires. She drives like a dream. Since we changed the tires to the proper size, the speedometer is accurate on this now. So this thing's about ready to go into for paint. I just haven't decided, do I want to uh, Do I want to go with the same color? I'm so tempted to go with the factory color just because we, we just kind of want to keep it original. Or go with a really bright red. I don't know. You guys can comment below and tell me what you think. But this one's about ready to go to Mako as well. Um, I guess we're going to jump in the truck. Or truck Jeep. And uh, let's go to Advanced Auto Parts and get some parts. Just like that. We're back, <laughs> and uh, I may have made another pit stop. Uh, I needed some supplies for the uh, AR headquarters shop, so I just went ahead and, and stopped and picked everything I could think of up. We got tons of coolant, radiator, uh, basically everything. We've got the uh, oxygen sensor. I hope it's the right one. I'm hoping the radiator is the right one, too. Um, we got the crank sensor. Pretty much everything that we should need, including motor flush and all that other stuff, is sitting right here. I'm going to open this garage, bring this stuff inside. I'm going to have a barbecue real quick, and then we'll get back to it. All right, guys, we're going to try this again. We got TK with us from TK's Garage. Major salute. Link down below. And Austin Carr may or may not be coming. <laughs> we'll see. He's he's out at dinner with his fiance right now, so we'll, we'll see if he can make it down or not. He does have to work in the morning, and he already put in a full shift today. So I wouldn't be surprised if he does not feel like coming an hour away. We're going to go down to AR headquarters, and uh, we're taking... We're taking the Ram, uh, the tour. Sorry, th these are not Rams. These are Dodge. Dodge Rams. This is a Dodge Ram. That right there is a Ram, and I would much rather be in my Ram right now <laughs> than in this. But we got a lot of work to get done. I've done enough talking to to last us a lifetime. So let's see if it'll run on its own without me two footing it. And it will. <laughs> it's getting better. Yeah. It's getting better. We got a lot of work to get done, so we're gonna we're gonna try this again. Last time we blew a tire, we got the new tires, we got the new wheels, and she's halfway running on her own. I think we'll make it. Is it we, camped? No, oh. it's got it's got no signal from the crank sh uh, position sensor. It's got a bad oh. primary upstream <laughs> oxygen sensor. That's just how it runs because everything's not working. It's got no brakes. <laughs> um, this is gonna be a fun ride. It's. Yeah, yeah. It's so, not, not going to be boring. No. <laughs> so I, I put my glasses on, and uh, we got the bed loaded up. We got everything in the back here. We got the bumper for the El Camino back in the bed as well. So let's get on down to AR headquarters and uh, cross your fingers for me, guys. <laughs> it's going to be rough. Boy, we got a... Uh, we ooh. got some action. Yeah, take a look at this uh, This R RPMs right here, man. This thing is... Uh, Watch those RPMs. It's not slipping, it's just bucking and cutting out like crazy, man. Ooh. Uh, okay. We're slowing down now because we're in a we're in this little town. But I by the uh going by the bar. Biker bar right? Yep, biker bar right there. Now we're about to pick it back up to 55 and she's gonna have herself a fit. 
and see. Yeah, there's the kick. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, can hear yeah. the spark, bro. Yeah. Did you hear that? Oh. Look at those RP. Wow. Wow, she's bucking. It's like it's losing spark. It's almost got to be intermittent spark. It's yeah. just cutting out and it's bucking hard. And it's Ooh. been all good fuel now, right? Yeah, it's the tank's full of fresh 91 octane. Non-ethanol. And she, ew, she is not happy. Nope. Man. You all right? <laughs> come on. I mean, we are able to maintain 60, but I mean, I'm telling you, she's pissed. She is pissed, guys. All right, we'll continue on our way. I guess we'll be back when inevitably this thing's gonna stop in the middle of the damn road. We still got a long way to go. We are nowhere near. We haven't even got to buyers. We're still in bump bucking. Yeah. Oh, she's just, she's bucking. I'm, I'm afraid that she's gonna die. Like on the bridge. And then once it dies, okay. that's it. We that's keep it. Her, keep her running. And that bridge is a, is a one lane. Oh yeah, boy, she's not happy. Why does this always happen to me? I guess because for content, right? For content. I'm telling you, for once, I would rather the content be, hey, look, we got here safely. Safe and nothing happened. Yeah, we fixed it. You know, we put it back together. The brakes are good now. Oh, she's surging something fierce. I wonder if I floor it. Oh. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Your face up dead. <laughs> oh. Yo, she just dropped out. You can hear the engine yeah. open wide open. She did. Oh, Lord have mercy. All air and no fuel. Yeah. Whoa. Uh oh, there goes the pizza. Okay. Cross your fingers, guy. I told you. I told you earlier. This Cross your fingers. It's going to be rough. <laughs> I could feel it, man. I could just feel it. Randy's like, it's going to make it, man. We're good. We're straight. This thing's running like a top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. Uh -oh. The check engine light just went out. The check engine light went out, and now she's running it, like shit. It's rattling. Hear that? What the fuck? Gosh, shit. I think we've got an issue with the computer. Maybe. So the check engine light dropped, and she's running like dog shit. Hear that? Yeah. Uh -uh. Oh, the gas gauge just went straight to empty. Oh, dude, there's something going on with the wiring harness for sure. Oh, don't tell me. What if we were out of gas the whole time, and the gas gauge was reading wrong? Oh. So as you can see, it's getting dark. We made it. It's weird. The check engine light was gone and now it's back. And as soon as the check engine light came back on, runs great. Runs great, shifts great, no more surging, no more bucking, nothing, man. Look at that. Yeah. I remember there's a ground wire under the hood that's disconnected. Maybe that's got something to do with it. It goes from the battery to the body. Um, We'll figure that out, but for now, pizza and Coke of the drinking kind. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got us a Roxy. Hmm? Did you come in the house and just lay down like you own a place? Look at her. Look at her. Damn. <laughs> yes, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, look at you, beautiful girl. Look at you, beautiful girl. Yeah, so you can stay in here as long as you want till we leave anyway. When we leave, you gotta go. We can't leave you here by yourself. Her legs feeling better? Yes. She had a piece of, piece of pizza? Yeah, you had you a piece of pizza? You feel good? Probably shouldn't give dogs pizza, but she eats anything, man. Yes, yes. The most beautiful dog I've ever seen. Yes, you are. Yes, you can. <laughs> You big girl. You're, whoa. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna knock me over, man. And I'm not. Oh. I'm not exactly tiny myself, but she's big. All right. I guess we'll go get to work. I don't want to now. It's late. The truck's not doing well. But uh, before we do, you see this SRT flag right here.
We got this, let me see who we got this from. We got it from a gentleman named Chris B from Florida. So Chris, uh, for now I went ahead and hung it. I wanted to go ahead and get it hung up. It's probably not gonna stay in the house. I'll probably put it in the shop. But for right now, I just wanted to get it up and I'm short on time tonight. So I went ahead and hung it up in here. Thank you, I appreciate you sending that. Guys, if you wanna send me something, you're more than welcome to. You can send it to Auto Auction Rebuilds or you can send it to AAR Auto Sales or you can send it to Randy, it doesn't matter, whatever. Whatever, you can send it to, well, never mind. Just send it to whoever you want to, but <laughs> send it to 502 East Ripley, R-I-P-L-E-Y Street, Byers, B-Y-A-R-S, Oklahoma, 74831. You doing good there, Roxy? Yeah? Let's go move some cars and let's get that truck in the garage and try to figure out what the hell is wrong with it. Yay! Step one, we're gonna have to fire this thing up and get it out of here. Uh, I need this lift. Oh man, the tire's flat again. Great. Great. Um, yeah, I think we can do this. I can't leave this sitting outside because we got all the stuff that we're using for the other car in this one. But I figure we'll go ahead and see if it wants to fire up. We haven't been here in quite a while. So let's... Ugh. Let's see what she does. Whoa. Okay. There she goes. Wow, man. Oh. There we go. We'll let her warm up for a minute before I try driving her out of here. She runs though, man. She actually sounds real good. This thing sounds really good. Maybe a tune up. Other than that though, man, like it's a good, it's a good running car. Even with that old carburetor, she runs pretty good. I'm gonna air that tire up, find a way to strap this battery down. And let's get it out of the shop and make room for that truck. All right, so uh, TK did this. <laughs> and uh, I, I had to go inside for a minute and I said, hey man, can you try to find a way to hold this battery down so it doesn't fall off the car when I go to move it? And he said, yeah, man, no problem. And I came out here and he's got this coat hanger like twisted up through the frame. Some zip ties, I don't know what's going on. The zip tie is not even doing anything, man. It's, it's just... This dude is confused. What is this? How is this helping anything? We got electrical tape that's just all, he like wrapped the whole battery in electrical. My God. It's a Boston special, bro. Dude, you guys were right. You can't let him work on nothing, man. <laughs> nothing. I've never, he used tape like string and like tied it up in knots and, <sighs> man. You know what though? I do have to give you credit. <laughs> It doesn't oh. move. <laughs> ah, inside joke, unless you watch TK's channel, then you understand what just happened here because I, I just totally lied. But I got to air this tire up and then yeah. we can get this thing <laughs> off the lift and hopefully we can bring the truck up in here. All right. This is going to be, this is, this is going to be real damn interesting. I can't step on any of that stuff because we need it for the other car. Uh, all right. Can't run it long because there's no coolant. Woo! Uh, I got you. Do I need to turn the headlights on? <laughs> I was gonna say, what headlights? Oh, it's like pissing coolant. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh. That was a bolt. There we go. Right now. We're good. We're good. We're 
All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I've cut you guys out of, well, what do you think, an hour or so's worth of footage? Easily. Yeah, <laughs> because it's boring as hell. What it comes down to, guys, I bought all the new sensors. Turns out it's not the sensors at all. One of the tools that I use, this is a, this is a specialty tool, okay? Uh, specially made for Dodge Rams, these second gen Rams right here. I think these are second gen anyway. Uh, this tool right here, it's a long stick. It's got some poker things on the end. This is so you could get up through, let me show you, okay? You have to take this, you have to get up through the transmission tunnel and get way up there. All right, grab a hold of a wire up there and then pull that wire out with the uh, poker and the wire will come hanging down right here in the middle of your screen. Yeah. Uh, so I was getting ready to replace the sensors. Uh, I was gonna replace this upstream O2 sensor right here. And uh, I took the speed sensor off for just a minute, the output, shed, the output speed sensor. Uh, but I noticed looking way up that transmission tunnel, I saw a chewed wire. And I said, damn, all I gotta do is depin this, splice it, solder it, tape it, and we'll have our crank sensor. This is our crank sensor, the red wire, 99.9%, .9 the red wire is probably the five volt reference signal uh, going to the sensor from the computer. So with that red wire touching on the transmission and other you know, metal components, it's, it's literally grounding out or shorting out the wire. Next. We have another issue. We've got a code for the upstream oxygen sensor. And I want to show you guys this right now. Oh, let's see if we can squeeze it in there. Yeah, this is hard to get up here, man. It really is. We've got, where did the chewed up wires go, man? We got more chewed wires. Maybe they're over here on this side. Let me take a, let me take a gander real quick. They come up here. There they are. It's going to be difficult to see, I think. You guys might be able to get just enough of a view of it here. There are four wires on these oxygen sensors. As you can see, this is the connector for the O2 sensor. Here in my hand is a chewed wire that's touching metal. And the other wire is broken off in the wire loom right here. Okay, again, hard to see, but there are two completely chewed wires touching each other where my thumb is right here. Uh, you can't do that, man. You, you, you can't do that. So I'm working on the hardest one first. I'm going to splice all these wires. I'm going to solder them and I'm going to do it off camera because there's no way in hell you guys are going to be able to hardly see. And there's absolutely no way in hell of doing all of this on camera. But right now I'm going to focus on deep pinning this red wire, solder, splice, poke it back through, tape everything up real good. And uh, we'll have our crank sensor. And a few minutes later, we'll have our oxygen sensor back. And that hopefully solves all of our major issues, at which point we can start moving on to more fun things like brakes and a radiator. Well, when I take my hat off, it means I'm serious. <laughs> all right, so the hat's been off for quite a while now. Uh, honestly, there's no way for me to fit my head and hat under this truck into the tight corners that I needed to put them into. But we've got uh, all the sensors are soldered and they're spliced back together. Everything is plugged in, so now, it's time to pull her down from the lift. We're gonna drop it down. I'm gonna hook up the Altel Maxisys Elite and we're gonna to attempt to clear all the codes. Then we're gonna reset the computer's memory. Uh, it's an old school Dodge thing. If you know these old Dodges and you know you gotta clear the memory on top, you don't just clear the codes. You gotta erase the memory, reset all the parameters. We'll do that, we'll fire it up. And if things are happy, we can move on to, I don't know what we'll do next, rear brakes or radiator. I'm kind of thinking rear brakes at this point because that gives me an opportunity to sit down. I can do the brakes with this chair. I can pull the lift down. I can kind of just sit down and do the brakes on my own. So let's drop this down and uh, let's see if she's happy or if she's still going to be pissed off. All right. So to save time because I talk so damn much on these videos, I went ahead and did this without you. As you can see, no fault codes detected. Hey, I'm just serious, man. I do talk a lot. I, I, I gotta thank my fellow subscriber, my loyal subscribers. I'm tired as hell, man, for sticking around and watching these videos. Cause I'll tell you something, I couldn't listen to myself talk. I really couldn't. I'd be. <laughs> oh, you all right? 
Oh, my back. All right, turn the key off, take the key out just for the hell of it, put it in. I still don't know what's going on with the ABS. We'll have to... That might be those sensors in the rear. Check that out. Yeah, it could be because the brake light's on. Yeah. She's got to adapt to all, all the sensors have been reset. The ECU's been reset. So it has to kind of relearn everything. That take a little while. And it is, it's pretty out of gas. Uh, I got to change that pulley. Let's give it a little gas. Good now. Very smooth. Yeah, and for those that say TK don't do anything, <laughs> well, hey, you know what? I can Listen, change the tensioner. You can change the tensioner. This thing, this thing right here. This is the, hear that? This is shot, so needed to be replaced, and he's almost got the new one on, and that takes care of that. Let me tell you something. I haven't said thank you to Wildfire Lifts in a while. But man, this lift is a lifesaver. Save your ass. Yeah. yeah. Today, like no joke, when it comes to having those wires that are all the way at the top of the motor, but you can't get to them from the top, and you got to get to them from, imagine laying on my back trying to do that. No way, man. No way, man. Yeah, this saved my back today, literally. And the bridge jack, you know, we can lift the whole rear end of the truck up in the air at one time, service the rear brake. Let me get, let me, let me not step on El Camino parts. Let me get this wheel off. I'll get this drum off and we'll see what kind of condition the rear drums are in right now. All right. So I'm trying to get you guys some footage of this, but uh, even after beating on it, you can see it's trying to come off, but it's frozen to the, uh, to the shoes. Oh, wait. There it goes. Come on. Oh, boy. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, wow. That was some impressive one handed shit. Thank you. Ooh. They look like dog shit, bro. Oh, wow. Is it leaking brake fluid? Oh, yeah. The wheel cylinders are bad. Shit. Yeah, I bought new wheel cylinders, new shoes. You can see the wheel cylinder has failed. This one's uh, not overly complicated. We've got the through pins right here with the springs that holds the assembly on. You've got uh, one spring on this side, one spring on this side, that center plate, that backing plate right there. Wheel cylinder, this little like adjuster here. You got a spring down here, e-brake adjuster there. There's your e-brake lever right there. Uh, I'm gonna put a pan under here. We're gonna have to clean this up real good. And uh, we'll get in here and start tearing this bad boy down. At least I got the video now so I can see exactly how all this goes in case uh in case i forget mm. fun times lots of cleaning to do all right well you just watched me a few days ago do brakes on the uh on the gmc or what the hell was that the uh, 74 el camino so i figure we're not going to bore you with doing the whole brake job on this one well, did you see we did get it all apart new brake stuff there old brake stuff there so i can put everything back in the order in which i took it apart new wheel cylinder here and uh it just kind of scoots in just like that and then it's just a matter of putting everything on exactly the reverse the way you took it off tk is over there swapping out the uh swapping out the radiator and boy we're having a <laughs> we're having a time with that everything on this truck thing yeah everything on this truck has just been one problem after another uh this is the crap that came out of the cooling system very nasty because somebody thought it'd be a good idea to pile stop leak in it to fix it instead of just replacing the radiator which is what we're doing right now Geniuses. yeah uh, so please listen to me don't just don't don't use stop leak. if you got a leak just fix the leak man please i'm begging you uh yeah, TK is going to get this radiator swap. He's got most of it pretty much done. Um, cowling is almost off. I think hoses are off. Yeah, all we got, all we got left is a radiator or the transmission cooler lines. Um, <laughs> that one stubborn bolt over there. There's always one, and the radiator should be pretty much ready to pull out. So he's killing it over here, man. So I'm going to get back to the brakes, and uh, you know, hopefully by six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we'll be done. All right, boy. <laughs> this yeah. Here, yeah. 
um, someone had this rigged up. The old radiator is bent. It's the old radiator was twisted up, man. Like it, the old radiator almost had to come out of another vehicle that had been in a wreck. And it or didn't even it wasn't even made for this. Car. Yeah, it, it, that radiator was not right at all. The holes were in the wrong places to fit into this uh, core support right here. Um, thankfully, it's all going back together. It looks like it's going back together really well, actually. It's, it's going back there better than it came apart. There you go. That's a fact. So she's in. New radiator's in. It's just a matter of buttoning up the lines, hooking up the shroud, and all that crap. Uh, and that means I got I got to get on my game, man, because you're kicking my ass here. No, you've been helping me, you motherfucker. I didn't do I've anything. Been keeping you from your break. <laughs> <laughs> from my break, yeah. Yeah. I'm over here. Wait a minute. I didn't do nothing to these brakes. I got to get over here and get these brakes knocked out. I think he's got this radiator. This is not long enough. Oh, that's oh, because, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Once off. everything right. comes back up, everything should button up pretty well. Get that wrench, we'll get that tight. That'll be nice. We got a new radiator cap, too, and uh, we'll have to put some serious flush in this system, and I'll have to just flush it over and over and over again. I even bought a back flush kit for it, so we'll uh, we'll get her cleaned up, man. She doesn't overheat, that's a fact. It doesn't nope. even get warm. Nope. So I think the cooling system is going to be all right. Well, it, it's... Uh, it's coming together. I mean, it is. Fuck it's... Dodge, man. <laughs> Wait, what happened to Mopar, gang? Man, Mopar, no car. <laughs> at this rate, if, I, if I'm going to go through this kind of shit, I'm going to give me a BMW again. Fuck that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't, I can't lie. They didn't... Uh... This thing was like a PT Cruiser. <laughs> Just bigger. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what Dodge was thinking back in this generation, man, but... uh. Uh, imagine doing a tune-up on this the spark plug wires are all the way back against the firewall back there underneath it like like they made everything about this truck as difficult as they could i'm telling you that radiator shit i said it earlier it's like the, the, saving the easiest part for last nope radiators radiator is going to be easy well you know somebody else had been here before us and they had rigged the other radiator up they had rigged hoses up filled it full of stop leak the radiator didn't come off n nearly as easy as it was supposed to, and it sure didn't go in any easier. Uh, <laughs> but I got good news as he's buttoning up the uh, the radiator. I am buttoning up this side of the brakes, man. Uh, I feel good about it. I still got to adjust them at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put this on, check for drag, and I'll adjust until I get just a tad bit of drag on the, excuse me, on the drums. And at this point. Well, I have one side done, and uh, now I get to go to the other side and do it all over again. All right, guys, so we are almost to the point of bleeding the brakes. Brakes are done. Uh, let's get rid of this radiator cap because that is absolutely nasty. And uh, boy, <laughs> this dude right here, man, he's been at this for hours. I've been at the back. I don't want to say it like that, but we were at the, I was at the I, yeah, he, he wow. was <laughs> he was working it up front. I was working it out back, and uh, hey, at the end of the day, it's together. All right, yep. we got to bleed the brakes still, and and hope to God they work. Uh, this thing is so filthy. I feel bad putting a new radiator in it, but the other radiator was so bad. Uh, couldn't do shit with it. No, man, there, you you could never clean the cooling system out. So I'm going to use two bottles of this and then fill it with straight water and i'm just going to flush back flush flush back flush i'm not going to bother this on camera because this is going to take probably uh three or four days of driving the truck getting it going and uh all i know is after all this if this thing doesn't act right on the way home <laughs> uh i don't know if i told you guys or not but the pulley that we replaced is the wrong one uh, damn thing was still squealing. So I'm going to finish up filling this up with water. I wanted to make sure you guys could see we're filling it up with the good stuff, man. Uh, two bottles of that. Put some water in it. Let's put a fresh radiator cap on it and let's let it do its thing. And then we'll, uh, we'll fire it up for the first time since doing all this and hope to God. Oh, I hope to God it runs right. <sighs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> we haven't bled the brakes yet. Right now, I'm just going to fire it up. Make sure that she wants to run. 
Hopefully she does. Then we can bleed the brakes later. Oh, dude, yeah. Oh, it's still squealing. Huh. A little bit. I'm starting to wonder if it's the, the fan. Yeah, the water pump, maybe. Yeah. She definitely guzzled some of that down. I'm going to let it sit here for a little while, guys, and just kind of idle. Oh, that damn squealing, man. We'll let her sit here and just run for a little bit, warm up, check the trans fluid. We'll bleed the brakes. We'll come back in a minute, and then we'll take it home and find out if it runs any better. Some of you commented that it may be the water pump, and it could be. It could also be the fan. Like, I wonder, like, if the fan's touching something, or... I don't think the fan's touching anything. Hell, I don't know, man. We'll let her run for a little bit, guys. We'll come back here in a few minutes and we'll see what she's doing. I'm not gonna glue this down because it's like five o'clock in the morning or something. I'm just gonna throw this in here for now just to see how it looks. Oh, wow. Wow. It actually looks kind of good. Boy, let me tell you, that looks 100,000 times better than that busted up dash. Dude. Wow. It's almost like uh, those bath fitters. You know how they put the tub on top of a tub? Yeah. The dashboard on top Dude, of the Dude, look dashboard. at that. How did, what did you just Google some shit? Like you Google for this shit? <laughs> yeah. I was like, dash pad for Dodge truck, man, and it popped that out. It's got some glue and stuff that you put in it, but I mean, there you go. Shit. Look at a brand new that. truck, man. <laughs> well, I think we're about to call it a night, guys. It's a. Uh, the shop is. <laughs> it's pretty bad man I just cleaned it these damn cars man um the truck is outside running we cleaned up the lift got all the brake fluid and stuff off of it mainly and put some of the super clean stuff big shout out to super clean for sending us all their great products to help uh clean up the shop i'm just gonna leave all this trash here like i'm i'm done i'm not gonna put any of the tools away nothing Four o'clock in, in the morning. Show them that. Where's your phone? Show them. Show them the time, because they'll be like, "You're lying." It's four four thirteen in the morning. All right, and and I got to be back here tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, nope. Um, you can probably hear the truck out there just squealing away with her squeaky squeaky belt. I don't know. You know what else it could be? It could potentially be the belt. Yeah. It belt it, 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 it it could be. Um. She's sitting out there right now. Look, you guys can't see it. No, you can't see nothing. Not what a go for. Not now, anything. it's a little past the witching hour, thankfully. Um, so hopefully, I'm bringing you with me, though, because if something happens, I definitely want to catch that on camera. No? No? We'll go ahead and shut off, uh, shut off the lights, close up the doors, set the alarm, turn off the air conditioner. Well, this back room right here, this is where the majority of the spooky, ooh, no, nope, nope, nope. Oh, that pizza was good, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that pizza was amazing. Make sure front door's locked. Yep, close it up. You going out back door? Yeah. All right, guys, I guess we're gonna head out of here. Wish us luck. We got a long drive in the middle of the night yep. on a bunch of back roads and a truck that don't we, like. we don't know. Cross your fingers. Well, we made it to the first leg of our trip here. Uh, we made it to the gas station. We're going to put some uh, Lucas, not sponsored, but this is what I use, man. I'm going to put some Lucas in there and we're going to fill it up. And I'm happy to report that right now, temperature is good and cool. All the... Uh, all the gauges look good. We have no warning lights at all. No check engine, no ABS, no brake lights, nothing anymore, guys. She's doing it. We've been at, what, 60, 65? Yep, the whole way. The whole way. And it's been nice and smooth, no issues, man. So I want to fill up and let's get the rest of the way home and hope that we make it. Well, there it is, guys. You can see she's running perfectly fine. We've driven it uh, 70 miles, if you can see that down there in bottom left-hand corner. 68.7 uh, miles. She's running smooth as butter, man. And she gets up and goes now, too. 
So I think uh, I think we're gonna call that a wrap. Well guys, I know I didn't record every step of the way. Man, tonight I really just wanted to knock this car out and get, or the truck anyway, and get it done and just kind of show you guys, you know, basically what was going on without dragging you through the whole thing. And if I'm green in this video, I'm sorry. For some reason in this garage, the fluorescent lights make, it changes my color to some weird, I, I don't know. But anyway, I really do got to give a big, 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 big shout out to TK from TK's Garage, man. Please go over there, subscribe to his channel, link down below, because I'm telling you, if he hadn't been there to knock out that radiator, and, and that radiator really was kind of a bear, man, that thing, and it wasn't, it wasn't so much that it was a bear as it was somebody else had been in there and just cobbled everything together and made a mess of it. Uh, somebody else made that absolutely more complicated than it had to be. But if he hadn't been here to help me in this video, I'm telling you like right now, I'd probably just now be finishing up, changing that, changing out the radiator and getting it together and I'd be heading home. And now guys, it is, uh, let me see what time it is. I bet it's six. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, 546 in the morning i'm just getting home tk's just now getting in his truck and he's heading he's heading to his hotel and i'm about to head to bed so please forgive me i hope you enjoyed the video i tried to make it enjoyable if you did please hit that thumbs up button we both put in a lot of work in this video and uh the truck is happy at the end of the day that's what's important the truck is happy the truck made it all the way back with no issues no surging no bucking no hesitations nothing the truck is phenomenal. So I think it's about time to, uh, I think it's about time to send down to Mako. That's, that's what I think. I think it's about time to go get her some fresh paint, uh, make it look nice, um, fix that squealing noise that's either, I'm guessing it's the belt or it's the idler pulley instead of the tensioner pulley. We went ahead and changed the tensioner pulley and we just left it. Uh, we're not, you already put it on, you're not going to take it off and return it. You know what I mean? It's got a brand new tensioner pulley. We'll put a brand new idler pulley on it. I'll put a brand new belt on it. Um, cold air conditioning, hot heat, power windows work, power mirrors work, heated mirrors work, like signals, lights, everything in that truck works. So I think in the, one of the next videos of the truck, you're probably going to see a fresh Mako paint job. I'm going to leave it the same color. All right. No surprises. I'm going to leave it that. I think it's called flame red, something like that. I'm going to leave the truck that color because it was beautiful. And, uh, yeah, after that, man, I think it's ready to go to auction. I was going to do the exhaust. I'm not going to do the exhaust on it. And here's the reason why I've had a lot of people comment on Instagram and tell me that they're interested in bidding on that truck. I've had a lot of people say that they're interested in bidding on that truck. Now, how many people actually bid on it? When the time comes, who knows? But I've had a lot of people say that in their state, you can't have modified exhaust like that. So if I go through the process of, and I gotta pay for that too, it's extra money out of my pocket to have the exhaust cut, dumped with aftermarket mufflers, um, that may deter people from bidding on it because then they're gonna have to have the factory exhaust reinstalled on it. So I decided it's probably just best to leave it factory and let the new purchaser do with it whatever they decide to do. Because it may be an older person that doesn't want something loud. They may want a stock, and that truck is stock. The intake, everything is 100% stock on it. Somebody might want that truck because it's so original. I, I just don't want to take away from that. So we're going to leave it the way it is, and we're going to send it to insurance auto auctions as soon as we can get it finished and wrapped up from uh, uh, Mako. You can tell I'm tired, guys. If you enjoyed the content, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't hit the thumbs down button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Don't forget to go over there. Subscribe to TK's channel down below. He was a huge help. For all those people that, that say that he doesn't do anything and he can't work on cars, man, I guarantee he probably don't enjoy working on cars. I, I can completely guarantee he don't enjoy it. He can work on cars. He sure did it today. He was a huge help. TK, if you see this video, thank you, man. I really appreciate you staying out till 6 o'clock in the morning wrenching on an old 99 Dodge Ram. Man, I had a good time. It was a good night. And to you guys, good night. I got to get out of here. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon in the next one.